Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about two stocks which I think are the biggest opportunities for the year 2022. The first stock we're going to be looking at is JPEGs and the second stock we're going to be looking at is Eyeless. We've there recently talked about going in to Nasdaq about the acquisitions that they're going to be making, but also JPEGs. Now, JPEGs is a stock that is in cyber security. Now, there are a stock that currently that is have a market cap of $43 million. They are again acquired by a company called Vmos Technology. So they will be having the name change and a ticker symbol change very soon. But this stock is in cyber security and I think this is extremely important. And I do think right now we have a huge potential. So Normally, I will talk about the technical analysis in which I will as well for this video. Now, I do want to clarify that I do think that right now for JPEGs, any level you buy out will be huge because of the potential that it has. Again, you know, show support for Eyeless and JPEGs by smashing that like button down below. None of this is financial advice. Take what I've said, grown up. So make sure you do your own due diligence and research. Without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the reason why I want to bring JPEGs up because I think it has the biggest opportunity. Now, JPEGs, like I said, um, it's in cybersecurity. If we look at one of the biggest stock in cybersecurity, we, for those of you who are familiar, Cloudflare, which with the ticket symbol NET, NET is one of the biggest ones and it has a market cap of 33.91 billion. Now, I was fortunate to get enough at Cloudflare at $68 and made quite a big amount of profit from this particular stock. We have mentioned this stock um, quite a while ago in my videos, in one of my older, earlier videos, where I thought it was a big opportunity. And essentially, yeah, guys, this stock is going to be similar to that of JPEGs, or rather JPEGs will be similar to Cloudflare. And so, you know, some of the things that we are looking at, firstly, again, guys, just to bring this post over here for everyone to kind of look at, again, JPEGs um, Global and Vimo Technology has executed an agreement in the all crash transaction in which Vimo has purchased the majority control of JPEGs. Now, JPEGs essentially want to do more things. And one of the things that they want to do now is launch a date for visual cloud security and provide operational update. And I think this is huge. Cybersecurity is just going to get bigger and bigger. Cybersecurity is meant to grow bigger and bigger each year. And as the use of internet obviously gets bigger and bigger, the importance of cyber security kind of also just gets, you know, more and more and more, more important, more and more big. And so I think it's extremely important to know that this will be one of the biggest opportunities in our lifetime for cyber security. And for this particular year, I do think that JPEG fits underneath that. Just really looking at kind of comparing it with his peers and the amount of opportunity there is right now. Again, with OTC stocks, it's extremely risky. But again, that's why I think it provides us with the biggest opportunities. And so, you know, as always, guys, make sure you do your own due diligence. Make sure you do your own research. You know, I'm saying this because it's my opinion. I will be buying more and more shares this year of JPEGs. And I do think that right now, if you want to look at some of the areas that you think is key, or if you just want to make sure you kind of time your entry perfect, you know, any of the MA bounces, whether that's the 50 MA, whether that's the 200 MA, it's extremely good for JPEGs. But some of the other levels will, in my opinion right now, just looking at it, be around the 0 0.0154 level. Now, again, it's not this particular strict level. Rather, in this area, I do think that we have that potential to really come down to this area again. Another area will kind of be around, you know, this area of 0 0.0210 kind of and all the way up a tiny bit to that 0 0.0240 um you know all of these areas i think are key areas now the reason why there is no technical analysis is because this stock will be extremely volatile due to its small market cap uh, we all know that and also with the fact right now i think that the moment the bull season comes the bull run comes for otc stock Technical analysis really wouldn't matter much for this particular stock as it will have a massive run. We can easily see it go from the current market cap, which is 43 million, all the way to 430 million, I think, in just a matter of no time. You know, that is something that can easily be done, especially if it was a stock that has so much catalyst upcoming in 2022 as well. And like I said, guys, I've mentioned about the operation it has. It also has multiple acquisitions lined up for 2022 you know just a lot of multiple things that you guys can see here a tweet they made back in um november 15 2021 we are working diligently on multiple acquisitions and we'll be providing updates on one of them in the upcoming weeks and you know again they, they said they said multiple so that's what i'm saying right now we have multiple acquisitions so Lots and lots of catalysts lined up for this year that's why exactly i think you know you shouldn't be worrying about um 
too much about the technical analysis whilst it is important if you're trying to swing trade for a day or two you know obviously feel free to do so but i think with this stock right now you can easily miss the train if you're worried too much about kind of trading it for days you know trying day trade it because easily this could jump up 40 50 even 100 percent just in a matter of day where it is sitting right now so i do think that you shouldn't try and miss the opportunity when if you're trying to day trade and again it's my opinion make sure you do your own due diligence make sure you do your own research so this is the big stock and um, i just want to quickly briefly mention about this stock we obviously will come back to this but i do think it has one of the biggest potential now the second stock like i said is eyeless so eyeless right now and this is something i talked about the opportunity we see so eyeless recently has released um some news that i'm going to be talking about but straight off the bat, if we look at the technical analysis, we see that Eyes had a big action today. We saw, you know, quite a big volume. It's bigger than, you know, it has been for kind of the last 15 days of the, for the last two weeks. We saw it go all the way down to 0. 0. 0.2227, which again, guys, if you guys can see highlighted red, it just means that was a level that was going to be possibly be reached. And so if you watch my videos and kept up to date and set a buy order at this level in which I've mentioned, then obviously you would have gone in and filled in with this position. I did say that this was possible. You know, a lot of selling has been happening in the overall market. OTC market will obviously be affected as well. So this is nothing to be, you know, exactly worrying about. And straight off the bat, if you manage to get off and um, um, get a position filled, it would have already been 18 to 20%, um, you know, trade again, all of this, all of these levels have been set up on this chart for a very long time. You guys can go all the way back to my first eyeless video to look at it. And, you know, all of these levels have been talked about by me while I talk about if it's possible or not, hence why I highlighted it in different colors. So eyeless with this price action looks like we're going to be seeing some, um, you know, reversal for eyeless very soon because of it shows a lot of buyers in eyeless but what else are some of the reasons so eyeless released a big kind of um tweet as of yesterday where they pretty much talked about you know this particular thing quick eyeless update whilst let me use the highlighter whilst we are at various stages of completing several important milestones we are currently working to compete for big pieces of news for announcement for over the next week or two and which they did a hashtag Nasdaq. So they have barely ever done tweets where they mentioned Nasdaq in the tweet. Now we all know that one of the ultimate and biggest goals for Eyeless is to obviously eventually be listed on Nasdaq. Now, if they were to be listed on Nasdaq, that means they will be a company that is worth three dollars in terms of their share, not their market cap. They obviously won't be a company worth three dollars in terms of market cap. So that means their share will be three dollars each. Now, they have said that they want to reach here with organic growth, no kind of reverse split. They want to just reach it. And so if they are able to reach the NASDAQ from, you know, our current price right now, if you go all the way up, so from zero point kind of, I will use this area all the way to zero point uh, to three dollars, that will be over 12 X your money, so 1,235%. Obviously, that will be 12 X. And that is the opportunity we have for Eyeless right now, if they were to reach the NASDAQ. And to go important, then, you know, again, how are they going to do that? By acquisitions and four big pieces of news. So definitely we have to stay tuned for that. But that is one of the biggest news that obviously is bringing more traffic for Eyeless right now. And again, I think that Eyeless and JPEGs are some of the biggest opportunities you will have this year. JPEGs will be obviously, if we had to grade it, will be one that is riskier, but definitely have a bigger return. Eyeless, I do think that this is a company that has already shown their potential. It, you know, whilst it is speculative, they have already given their results. And so this is, you know, in comparison, 10x is still a big kind of return. But obviously, in terms of the potential that JPEX has, where it could easily probably return 20 to 50x if you are able to get it at the right time and hold it for the right place. I do think that that is possible. Obviously, we have to wait a very long time for it as well. Um, you know, so we could be only seeing 10x as well. But that will be riskier but for eyeless you know this is something where we're going to be seeing the 10x if they're able to reach the nasdaq and they have done a lot of things in which they're trying to show that they can do that you know some of the other things that i've talked about is you know q4 figures and certainly exceeded their own target so if we look at this particular tweet right here this is from last year but we have been wrapping up our q4 figures today and have certainly exceeded our targets very impressive progress made by the eyeless team we look forward to updating this on the new year which will be kicking off at sprint again they have talked about it but yeah just a lot of catalysts uh, for these two companies a lot of promising growth and i do think that these are definitely should be on your watches and you should definitely not miss out on these two 
Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.